Hi, this is Bassanio Peters from Assist to Develop. Now we're going to show you how to manage the candidates that have bid or submit their resume for your job. So again, you're going to go to this drop-down menu here where your name is going to show for us, success team, and you're going to go to manage jobs. Once you get in the manage jobs sections, you have a few different options here. You can edit the job, so go through and make any changes if you forgot something as we all do. Um, you can delete the job. Once you find a candidate of your liking, you can mark that job as fulfilled and it won't show up on our platform anymore. Highly recommended once you fill that job and you can view the details of the job. But when you're looking at the candidates, what you want to do is click show one here. One is representing how many people have bid on this job. This is a sample job. So we logged in on the other side as a candidate, assist, develop, test, um, and submitted a so the first thing you can do is take a look at that proposal and it says, you know, it's from this candidate, they bid $4,500 and the message or cover letter it says, I am interested, please take a look at my profile and video portfolio. So how do you view candidate's profile? Uh, the name is hyperlinked and it goes directly to where you can see the services that they provide, their industry specialties and all kind of data. But what's interesting, and we'll show here in a second, is this recording URL. Candidates will have the ability in our platform to submit a video-based proposal. So you can look at their resume, look at their portfolio, and see the details, but they can express those in a video-based format. And I'll show this here in a second. This is actually a demonstration that I did using the tool. And I won't play the video, but I'll walk through so you can see Essentially, I was recording my screen and walking through the platform and then we got to the collaborative workspace, which you can see here, where you can share your screen. And again, this is what was used to film that recording and then they can generate a link from this recording and send it as a part of their portfolios, which is what you see on the bottom here. So pretty powerful stuff, a way for you to quickly identify candidates um, and see their skill sets and allow candidates to showcase what they're good at. So again, if we go back to show one, we've clicked on um, uh, show details, went through the candidates portfolio. Now you have the option of launching a collaboration workspace meeting or basically a virtual interview. But initially, you're going to want to contact that candidate. So we have a messaging system built into the platform. It allows you to send a message directly to the candidate initially, and once you do that, it opens the floodgates for that candidate to be able to respond to you. Up until that point, no candidate can message you unless you message them first. Why? We don't want them bombarding you with, hey, have you looked at my resume? Have you taken a look at my bid? We want you to kind of own and have the control of this um, communication through the platform. It just makes it easier. So again, you have the ability to contact them and a message will be sent and this is your inbox here, a message will be sent in the platform and an email notification. But then you have the ability to launch that collaboration space um, and we'll get to that here in the next video. And let's say you conduct that virtual interview and everything went well and you're like, this is the right candidate for this job, I want to be able to hire them. You're going to simply go to edit and change the application status. One thing to note is request interview button is here. So it's basically telling that candidate, hey, listen, I'm, I like your profile, I like your resume, I'm interested in having a conversation. And it will send an email notification to that candidate saying, hey, look, you know, this client is interested in having a conversation. Um, once you do that and you conversate with that candidate, you can either approve or decline them um, directly here. So again, and send a note regarding the application, always include a note and tell them why um, you you know, basically they didn't fit the mold. Um, again, this is the platform. We're just trying to make it as easy as possible for you to find candidates in less time. All right, thank you.